The Albion Foundation's Kicks team played host to over 50 teenagers as they competed in a PL Kicks tournament. So today this is one of our, our Kicks venues down at Hadley Stadium. So we've got uh, Aston Villa and Wolves are bringing two teams down. Uh, we've got two teams ourselves. They're going to play in a little uh, league competition and then it's uh, winner takes all at the end. The competition also had a focus on attempting to prevent knife crime by engaging with youngsters through football. We've actually got a mother down today whose, whose son was, was unfortunately stabbed um, and she comes down and, and kind of talks about her journey and her son's journey and, and kind of makes the participants from, from all the football clubs aware of how easy it can be to get caught up in trouble. Alison Cope spoke to the competition participants about how knife crime changed her life forever. My son Joshua Ribeiro was stabbed to death in September 2013. Um, well known as death's man within the grime um, scene, went on to have a number one selling album and then he was stabbed to death on the 21st of September. And I educate young people about the choices they make and how they can have massive consequences on obviously the victim but also on themselves. Football tournaments like this provide an invaluable opportunity to speak to young people about knife crime. The more places that are made aware of any kind of intervention to do with knife crime, youth crime, choices, everybody should be doing this um, at every opportunity because the more young people that get to hear the real life side of these kinds of stories, the more chance there is that they won't go on to do this. And obviously the Kicks Foundation um, and programme enables them to do something they enjoy but it also puts them in the right uh, down the right path for making the right choices and having a safe and you know um, successful future.